Welcome to Venusian Soul. Today I'm back with a pick a card reading and it's going to be August predictions. So I want you to cast your gaze over the cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi, group one. So the first message I'm hearing is the universe is going to be helping you to receive. Now, it will vary for all of you what you're on the receiving end of. But for some of you, I feel like there is something that you've been visualizing or putting your energy towards creating. But I do feel for a lot of you, I keep looking at the nine of wands and I'm hearing it's about receiving connection, but it's, I, I just keep hearing reciprocity. It's like either you're receiving help or assistance or love from others, learning how to be really open to really healthy and beautiful connections, especially with soul family here sitting above the page of cups. I keep feeling that sense of either someone coming into your life or someone that's in your life that comes forward with a, a greater offer. Now, for some of you, if this is in the context of a romantic connection, it could be them stepping forward and, you know, ma making their uh, energy or their feelings known to you. It could be if this is like a, a friendship, a platonic connection, but there is this kind of soul connection. I feel like they could be offering you help or love or just a certain amount of energy. I don't know if for some of you, you've had situations where you haven't felt your relationships have worked out or you feel you've been, I keep looking at this five of swords, either abandoned or the, like the connection always falls apart. But I just get this sense of the universe helping to turn the tide when it comes to what you, the quality of connection and love and support that you have. Now, for others of you, I do feel this support. When I see the Six of Pentacles, I do get that sense of abundance as well. So for some of you, it's also an influx or an inflow of greater abundance and receiving more in, uh, in that, in a monetary sense. We also have take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. With Wheel of Fortune, that, that's what I'm sensing. I feel like with August, it's like a turning point in regards to your fate and your path. It's like there's some sort of shift or change for the positive, which enables things to start flowing or enables you to be in the right place at the right time and make the right connections. With Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you and you also have a leg up. I feel like August, for those of you where you are manifesting and you're actively working towards a vision and a dream, I feel as though spirit is telling you that August is a month to take that leap of faith. August is a time where you do make changes or I just heard you put your faith in yourself. You really believe that, you know, you can create the life you desire, that you can have what you want. Judgment sitting above the Knight of Wands. For some of you, August may be a month as well where you're making peace with the past. With the Page of Cups and Judgment, this can be a card for me of forgiveness, forgiving the past, forgiving yourself, but maybe even forgiving past connections or people from the past that left you feeling either unsupported or just you still carry some sort of unresolved emotion linked to someone or multiple people from the past. I think this is important because with this Knight of Wands, it's like I keep hearing it's like a, a turn of fate in August where you can charge ahead or where things start to really flow. There's some sort of shift that happens for you that enables in greater blessings here. But I'm hearing the blessings only come in if you take, if you put that faith in yourself and you take that leap of faith. I feel if you hold back or you, you know, you're, you're frightened or ambivalent about taking a step forward, I feel like that could slow down this turn of fate. With the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords, there is an element of introspection because I feel like you may be healing the past, forgiving the past, but you may also be looking at how the past or past, I keep hearing failures. I don't believe in failure in the traditional sense. I believe failure is a stepping stone to success because every time you stumble or you fall down, it gives you greater information around what will work or what direction to move. It's like 
Failure is more like course correction. However, you may perceive something as having failed. I feel for this group, it's either, and it could be both these areas, but I get a strong sense around relationships, interpersonal relationships and how you connect with others, how they receive you, how they treat you, what they give, but also perhaps like a, a dream, a dream you have in terms of your life purpose or your career. And again, it could be both areas, but with the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords, I feel like you're going to be reflecting on how you hold yourself back. I feel like initially there was some sort of wound or past event that led you to pull back, but I feel for many of you, maybe you're still in that place now where you, you know, you have a sense of trepidation. There's a sense of fear of failure, being hurt again, things not working out. So I feel like August is the month where you're removing any barriers to your own self-development, self-expression, your own happiness. I feel like August is going to be uh, a time where there's a lot of really positive changes for you as well, where you start to really move ahead in leaps and bounds and you're feeling more, I just said courageous. With that Nine of Wands, it's like really embracing that fire energy feeling really powerful because I keep hearing faith in yourself because spirit is saying for these changes and these blessings to come in, you have to believe first. It's, it's almost like the universe can't bring you this leg up or this helping hand unless you believe it's possible. It's your faith is what helps this dream, this vision, your future grow and develop. The Six of Pentacles, I do see an easing uh, or an increase in terms of financial flow. Definitely there's an increase as well, I'm hearing, where if you've had to kind of go it alone or you've at least felt that way, like I can't, de I can't depend on people. Every time I reach out for support or help or love, I feel like it comes up empty or I just don't receive what I could or what I feel I deserve. I feel like that tide is changing as well. I feel like as well, you're going to be attracting, it's like you're not going to have to work as hard in this new cycle. For those of you where, especially with take a break, where you've really been pushing yourself and when you're working towards a goal or a manifestation, there's a certain level of, you know, work or action that has to be extended. But I feel a, a sense of things flowing more readily. It's like you receive things, but you only put in about half the amount of effort that you used to. Uh, there seems to be more balance as well. And I think because you're feeling supported internally, it's like you're attracting in people also that want to offer to you, that want to support you, that are kind of on your level, on the same playing field. I'm also hearing don't be afraid to open up. Yes, I think it's open up to receiving and connection, but I also feel don't be afraid to step back into life fully, to open your heart completely, to go after your dreams, to feel passionate, to feel inspired. I don't know if for some of you, you felt a bit removed from life or removed from other people, disconnected. Mm. In the month of August, I just see you like knocking away any barriers, any defenses, anything. It, it's almost like fear-based cognitions, the thoughts, the ideas, the feelings that, you know, keep you away from what you love or who you love, or at least bringing in those circumstances. Because I feel for some of you, you might go through an expansion in the heart chakra, or you may feel a sense of emotional and heart awakening as you go through this process. But I feel for this group, I just heard as well, I want more. So there could be a yearning or a desire to have more, to receive more, or at least to receive better. It's like an upgrade. Met Spirit keeps saying, you have to believe, uh, believe it's possible and also believe that you deserve it in order to receive it. Otherwise, I feel like it's going to have trouble coming in. And I do think at least in the beginning of the month August of August, there could be some closure that needs to happen first. There's some resolution of the past, what has been, you know, how you want to proceed moving forward and what that looks like. And then once I think that reaches resolution, things are going to flow more readily.
Yeah, the Page of Swords and Five of Swords, again, this can be like a fear of abandonment, but I feel, I don't necessarily feel this for this group. I feel like you may just be very used to going it alone, like very independent to the point perhaps people have been shut out or now is just time on your journey where you're ready to welcome new energy onto your path and allow new people um, in your journey. But I also think you may be examining a fear of failure. You're examining any of these fears and barriers that hold you back from what brings you happiness, what you love, people you love. Just It's like a complete opening to the divine and the divine hand. Again, I do feel for some of you, though, this correlates with obviously receiving more, receiving more financially, receiving more love. For some of you, this barrier is actually learning how to receive and what may have been keeping your blessings at bay or at least slowing down your manifestations was certain beliefs or fears or past memories you had that related to receiving what you could have, what you deserved, and that's what's changing as well. There's going to be an overcoming of fear, definitely, where you feel really free and liberated. And I feel like you're acting more from the heart chakra, from your truth, rather than, you know, a certain belief or thought-based system. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group two. So the energy I'm seeing in these cards... For this group, the message is very clear. I feel like you're moving away or closing out and letting go of something or someone karmic. There's a very strong element of, I'm hearing like moving away from people that cause this energy, like the nine of swords, the seven of swords, to connection or energies that uh, are similar to the ten of cups. Whether that's clearing out for some of you, this may literally be closing out a karmic relationship and moving towards uh, a soulmate partnership that's more kind of loving and peaceful and stable. But for others of you, this could represent a karmic friendship, a family member, a workplace, especially with the five of wands. Sometimes it makes me feel like there's, there can be more than one karmic or toxic personal situation that you're letting go of. I feel like there's been some sort of situation that's enabled you though to grow in your own power. We have the queen and king of wands. So there's a sense of feeling empowered, really embracing your light, uh, really knowing your worth. But I feel for some of you, you may have had to experience something challenging to reach that point of awareness. We have karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. I, again, I keep hearing you're moving away from conflict. Anyone or anything that disturbs your peace of mind, I feel like you're going to close it out because it's just... It's almost like it doesn't work for you anymore. There's this knowing or there's this awareness that, you know, you're ready for new pastures or you're ready for relationships and connections that are perhaps a bit more stable or a bit more balanced. Like there's a, there's this energy or desire of moving away from what created, I just heard chaos. And again, this could be chaos just in your energy field because I do feel for this group, for some of you, I feel like you have some sort of vision or for some of you, I feel like you might be healers or you have some sort of healing capacity because with empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what, what's not yours, you're very empathic souls. You could, some of you could be very creative, but I just feel you're like psychic sponges and you absorb everything around you. And I feel in the context of this karmic situation, I do feel it was there on your path to help you evolve and move to the next level. It could have also been there to help you really fully step into your purpose, your gifts, your talents. But I feel like it's like it's time to come to an end. <clears throat> and I feel as well if you were to stay, say, in the con if this is a person, stay in this connection or be in this environment for longer, I feel like you'd keep absorbing this energy which doesn't serve you because I feel like because of this situation, your consciousness has already grown and expanded so it's ready to kind of move to the next level. You also have here, pillar of light, your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. For some of you with this expansion, 
you've had an expansion in terms of your psychic ability or your, I'm hearing like uh, you're a visionary. It could be literal visions like psychic visions, clairvoyance. For others of you, this could be a vision in terms of like a business, a dream, an enterprise. With the Queen of Wands and the Four of Cups, I feel for some of you, you may have reached this point where you're really sick and tired and frustrated of accepting less than what you're worth or not receiving the fullness of, you know, what, what you feel you can have. It's like a, a stepping up or an, inc an increase in what you know you want and what you know you deserve. You have the tower and next to it, time to go. So that's pretty clear. I think something's falling away or something needs to fall away to allow you to bring in some something or someone new. And then you have fork in the road. So again, I feel like August is a month where either the decision is made or you're at that crossroads where you're preparing with the to, with to the sea. It's like being on a new voyage, taking the road less traveled, stepping into the unknown so that you can receive better or you can receive more. Yeah, with the Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords, right now you may be dealing with a lot of conflict and the Five of Wands. Like I just feel there's either a lot of conflict coming from other people. It could be also a lot of conflict inside of yourself because this is a difficult experience or difficult connection. There just seems to be a lot of energy within that you're kind of grappling with or working through or perhaps even removing from your life. Like there's just a lot that has to be processed. With the Ten of Cups, though, I feel like there's this promise of a really bright, beautiful future, but a future where it's more, I mean, Harry, there's more serenity, there's more peace, there's more balance, and there's definitely more healthy um, love, healthy environments. It, it might be doing more so what you love in terms of career, uh, but I also think it's more loving connections or connections that don't cause this effect, that kind of plague your mind, that don't have... It's like um, connections that are healing and, you know, peaceful, loving versus connections that hurt. Again, I do feel part of that pain or that struggle is going to serve you long term in the sense that I think you're going to turn that pain into power or turn those lessons and that growth into understanding. But I feel like it's it takes a certain level of evolution to kind of move past it. So in that beginning phase, you may feel a little bit uncertain or just not fully know how to move ahead or not fully know how to overcome things and, you know, what, what to do. But I feel part of August as well, you're untangling what, you're, what you feel and what your energy is versus the effect of this karmic situation, person, multiple situations. There's a sense of being very clear in terms of Number one, boundaries, what you will and won't accept. With the Queen of Wands, she is someone that's very assertive and very clear in terms of her worth, her needs, her desires. So that would be true for some. But I also feel you may be getting clear in, in regards to what's actually yours to carry and what isn't. You could be untangling yourself as well from any, I just heard like gaslighting, any manipulations or you know, anyone that tries to put their stuff on you and project it. Yeah, I feel like August, it, it could start with a bit of frustration, conflict or confusion, but I feel like it leads to this level of inner power and certainty by the end of the month where you either assert yourself, you set your boundaries, but you're very clear in terms of, okay, you know, this is not what I want. This is not what I deserve. I'm moving ahead. Like there's um, you're not going to be kind of dabbling or sticking around in situations, connections, uh, a life that doesn't support you, that doesn't serve your highest good. You know, the Four of Cups beneath the King of Wands, I, I keep hearing like, don't accept less than your full potential. So for those of you where there is something that you want to work towards or you have greater or grander visions for yourself. It's like Spirit is saying, don't get stuck in that energy or vibration of limitation or doubt. Or It's almost like, hold, I keep hearing that holding yourself back. 
Spirit wants you to be in a place where you really allow yourself to move ahead. You believe in the impossible to a sense. Like it doesn't mean it's literally impossible, but I feel like you're increasing your uh, your vision, your scope, even your standards for some of you. Like you may reach a point where you're like, no, this isn't working for me. I know I deserve more than this. Um, I know this isn't going to make me happy. Uh, I don't think you're going to tolerate or stick around with anyone or anything that like lowers I just said lowers your energy as well for some of you you've been dealing with people or situation where I, I just keep hearing like an energy drain either energy vampires or people that again it's like they they're trying to use your energy or your light for their own betterment there's a sense of manipulation for some not all there, there's just an element of toxicity I feel for this group Anything toxic, anything unhealthy, you're going to reach that, pay, uh, that page and that point where you're like, no, I don't want this in my life. I know I deserve better and I'm ready. I feel like August is the month with the tower and time to go where you close it out, where it's completely, it either completely crumbles or you completely close that door. I just feel like it's like being ready to kind of jump ahead and being ready for the new so that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Hi group three. So for this group, I'm hearing the month of August is all about you. It's all about your relationship with yourself, how you feel, what you want to kind of, what you want to do with your life, your purpose. It's like reassessing as well how far you've come. This is a month where it's all about self-love, but it's also about deep pride and understanding in regards of, okay, so this pain or this heartache or this wound is what was necessary to bring me to where I'm at now. It's um, it's like a, they're showing me a puzzle and it's, it's almost like you're laying the pieces of that puzzle and bringing it together. Yeah, and I just hear yeah, it's all coming together. That's exactly what I'm seeing. But I feel for many of you, you have to almost deep dive to access that. I see you spending a lot of time. You're going to be kind of in the other and higher realms. I don't feel with between worlds. It's like you're constantly going to be going back and forth between the physical realm and the, you know, the demands and the features of the physical and the inner sphere and that inner realm. So I see a lot of introspection, a lot of soul searching, uh, a lot of um, clarity as well when it comes to, yes, who you are, but also how you feel. It could be quite an emotional month as well, but not emotional in the sense that there is some, there may be some heart healing or some awareness around healing from the past, you know, how things have left you feeling, um, what needs to be kind of cleared and closed out, but also how they've helped you grow. I think there's going to be a sense of pride in who you've become and where you're at but you're also it's going to be a very I'm hearing it's like a dreamy month where you might have a lot of really vivid dreams you're going to have so many hits and um, psychic visions there's just going to be a lot going on but it's all internal like it's all happening on those higher levels of consciousness I'm, I'm not really seeing much in the physical and that doesn't mean there's not things happening, but this is really a month where it's it's an introspective month. And from that place, that's when I feel like you kind of go out into the world with this knowledge, with this, uh, you know, renewed or increased self-love and connection with yourself. Because we also do have co-create, but I feel like August is the month where you're asking yourself why and what. What do I want to co-create? What do I want my life to mean? Why do I want, you know, a, a particular, whether it's a career, a person, a vision, what's driving it? It's like you're getting clear, you're unraveling yourself and the mystery of yourself. And that doesn't mean you haven't already been on this journey. I just feel August is a month where there's breakthroughs or you're deepening your ability to understand yourself. There, there's some sort of truths and realizations that I feel are going to be easier to access during this month. But I just heard as well, the veils are thinner. So there's almost that energy where 
the things that you couldn't normally perhaps reach or you know en energies or truths or a knowing that in the past may have been out of reach for you it's like now it's accessible now you can now you feel like yes i can find that yes i understand that you also have here messenger cyrus energy bringing harmony and balance i see there being a lot of harmony as well moving forward in connections especially the two of cups and queen of cups there's a lot more love around you but the spirit keeps showing me that love radiating from within you it's like it's almost like being your own soulmate being your own best friend and again there, there could be those around you and energies around you of soulmates or soul tribe whether this is romantic or platonic but it starts with you it starts because you're it's like you're radiating this increased sense of love or you've kind of done that work of soul searching going within healing growing and that's what attracts in uh, similar individuals especially with the queen of cups in the world because when you step out with this nine of pentacles energy it's that sense where you're completely whole within yourself you're not looking to anyone or anything to complete you or fulfill you and because you've reached that level of consciousness and you've attained that level of growth that naturally is going to attract in people of a higher caliber of a higher frequency you have answered the call what is your soul calling you to do the month of august is really a month where you you get really in touch with yourself your soul your dreams your spirit your past whether this is clearing out or closing out any lingering emotions but i feel by the end of august the past is completely done with this ten of swords it's like you're ready for this new world and that's when i feel like you enter the world with this queen of pentacles energy very composed, very grounded, very focused on your own endeavors. I see you not being terribly concerned with other people, what they're doing, what they think of what you're doing, how they feel. Like I see you in a place where you're very, um, or I should say you're more kind of just balanced within yourself, more self-contained. You're learning uh, how to nurture yourself, what makes you happy, what feels right, what, uh, what and who feels right in your environment. And I feel like there's a level of being really proud of everything you've had to overcome to get to this Nine of Pentacles. That when we're at that place where we're completely whole within ourselves, oftentimes it's taken a certain level of, it could be like disappointments or knocks or wounds or, you know, past experiences to reach this level of balance and to reach a place of feeling very grounded and at peace. With the Queen of Cups, I'm hearing guidance for the month of August. Number one, make sure you drink lots of water. It could be really valuable as well to meditate around water. Um, it could be like having hot salt baths, just making sure that you're very gentle with yourself. Because, and also don't, uh, I'm hearing don't schedule too much. Don't make too many plans. Don't overburden yourself because I feel there's going to need to be a lot of time and energy spent on taking care of you, on your self-love, on going within, finding your own sense of peace and clarity and truth. Like that's, it's all about you or in the month of August. It's a very cathartic month because I feel like you come out the other side and heading into, you know, September, October, uh, you may have new clarity in terms of Page of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles of what you want to build in the physical. And with Nine of Pentacles, it could be like your, it could relate to like your own business or your own kind of venture, being um, and empowering yourself. But there's also this sense of being really clear in regards to, you know, how you feel, what you want to do next. With the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups, I do feel there could be something that still that still niggles. I don't feel like, I feel for many of you, you've done a lot of healing and some of this process is more about connecting with your soul, with the higher realms, uh, with spirit and bringing that energy back. But for some of you, there could be a wound that still niggles or still has an effect on you. So you could be reaching that point where you're trying to process that, move through it, uh, kind of move move to the other side and I feel like spirit is going to offer you a lot of support when it comes to your own personal growth what works for you what makes you feel good what's healing for you 
And with the Ten of Swords, I'm also hearing it's giving you the opportunity to have a complete closure because we can be, you know, over something, at least emotionally, but that doesn't always mean that we're completely um, comfortable or at peace with what has been or we have completely accepted, you know, ourselves and our own path and what that means for us moving forward. Like there's a sense of, you know, resolution coming to a place of, okay, you know, I'm comfortable with what has been, I, I understand why things happen, yeah, why, I understand exactly why things happen this way to lead me here, to grow me into the person I am now. And I do feel for some of you that, again, I keep hearing pride, like really patting yourself on the back, really loving yourself, embracing yourself, being proud of, Yes, the person that you are, the work that you've done, the growth you've attained, feeling at peace with all of this. And with co-create sitting uh, above between, between worlds, I feel like spirit's going to be lending you a lot of support and a lot of guidance. There's certain clues or truths or energy that you take away from this month that do really help to inform your future, that do make it really clear in regards to you know, how you can move forward or what's going to serve your highest good moving forward and what that looks like. So I do feel overall there's a lot of positive energies and positive changes that come in. And with the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you leave or this month finishes with you feeling very grounded or do you know when you are so clear in yourself, you're so clear in your worth, your truth, your vision, your dream, and that it's almost like you're unshakable. Nothing can deter you. I feel for this group, you've reached that level of self-empowerment and self-love where you're unstoppable. And it's like you can carry out visions and ideas and dreams that you receive from spirit, from the divine. So that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi, group four. So for this group, the first message I'm getting is there may be someone or something that's not for you, that isn't, that spirit with the king of swords beneath the devil, spirit may be asking you to set boundaries with someone or something that you feel um, uncomfortable about, or there'll be some sort of intuitive hit or knowing in terms of, okay, this person, this situation may not be for me. So that's the first thing I'm hearing and it may be time to kind of set boundaries or be clear uh, in regards to, you know, what you want and who's allowed or who you want to allow in your space. Okay, so we have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. And we also have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? With the two of pentacles here as well, I feel like all this may be a month where you're kind of uncertain or ambivalent, where you're feeling a little um, like you have, what, what do you say? Like there's one foot in both worlds or, you know, you kind of feel torn between, you know, one option and another, or you're just uncertain. With this eight of swords, it could just be uh, this feeling like you're not sure what to do or where to go. I feel like with deep knowing, I feel like deep down you do know or deep down spirit is giving you these messages with divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms. I do feel like spirit is saying like and is, you know, supporting you with this process. But there's a level of fear, you know, with trust your path, there's a level of trust and faith in August that Spirit is saying you need to have in yourself, in spirit, in the divine. Because with the Hermit, it's like you are following your spiritual path, you are in alignment, but they're just, with the Devil and the Eight of Swords, I feel like, for some of you, I do feel this could be an external energy with the Devil, someone or something that has to be closed out or cleared away energetically. But with this Eight of Swords, I feel like some of this energy or trepidation is coming from within yourself. So it's being, it's reaching a point of clarity and truth. With the Hermit and the Three of Pentacles, you know, there could be something that you're working towards or you're moving towards and it is something you desire, but every now and then there's certain fears or limitations or I should say limiting beliefs that kind of pull you back or put you in this Eight of Swords energy where you feel stuck or not fully sure how to proceed. I also think August is a month for this group 
where you're getting a lot of support spiritually, not just in terms of um, intuitive insights, but in terms of like you might find spirit literally orchestrates events. It's a very fated month. Things could kind of happen out of the blue, but I, I'm hearing they may seem to be negative or you may be afraid by what's happening, but then it later turns out to be a blessing. So it's one of those situations where it could be very much a blessing in disguise and you're not, you know, you're not sure whether you should embrace it. You're not sure if it's going to be for your betterment or for your highest good. And then it, you know, the situation unfolds and you realize that that was a blessing and that did help you proceed and move forward. With the King of Cups as well, I feel like Spirit is wanting to bring in more joy, more joy, more flow. Like things are working for your faith in your favor, but I don't know if it feels that way for some of you or for the entire month. There could be periods where you're feeling really um, confused or uncertain or but I feel like some of these opportunities or there's going to be certain changes or twists of fate that enable you to fully embrace your opportunity. With the Hermit, the Three of Pentacles and exchanging gifts, there are blessings here. There are, there is forward momentum, but there's a, there's a certain internal ambivalence or doubt that has to be overcome, I feel, first before things can unfold. So I feel like you may go through this process where you're really un unpacking and getting clear in terms of, okay, so what's next? What do I want to focus on? How do I want to move ahead? Like there's a sense of gaining. It's not just clarity because I feel I'm hearing for many of you, you're on the path in the sense that what you envision for yourself and what you are working towards is for you, but it's trusting the path. There, there's almost, I feel this like almost holding holding yourself back or being afraid to fully step into this path, this change. It could be for being afraid of setting boundaries, ending certain things that don't serve you or closing out certain um, people or situations. I just feel like I keep hearing keep following the light. And I'm hearing as well, keep following what feels good. How you feel in a, whether this is in a specific situation or around a specific person tells a lot and says a lot in regards to, you know, your highest good and what does or doesn't serve you. The more you listen to that inner guidance, the more you feel at, you know, at peace with spirit, the more you make time to connect and trust, I feel the better. I keep hearing though, you have a lot of divine support that spirit is watching over you, that spirit is guiding you. But I feel for this group, you may not feel it completely or there may be some doubt around, you know, whether spirit does have your back or whether you can move ahead and kind of trust what's happening. If I do feel for some of you, this devil king of swords and not for you, there's someone or something that isn't working that you know with deep knowing here, there's a sense of, you know, maybe I need to close this out or maybe I need to let go of this, but it could be, you know, it could be a quite a fearful process or you could be feeling a little bit uncertain about closing it out or there could be some fear, you know, if I do so, you know, what am I left with or is it going to be the best choice? I just keep hearing trepidation and uncertainty. I feel like as well, spirit is helping you overcome fear. Because I do feel that could be the biggest barrier. I, I just heard fear, but it could almost be indecision. Do you know when we're slightly afraid of something or a path, that is, it leads to kind of procrastination? Like on one level, we know we want to move ahead or we know this is our next step, but then we're like a bit afraid of it or it's a little bit daunting, so we pull back. It's that type of energy, like one step forward, one step back. I keep getting, or, and for some of you, this could literally be oscillating between letting go of something to move towards a new path. And that's where the trepidation is coming in. But Spirit is saying in your heart of hearts, you know what to do. You know what needs to be done, but it may be uncomfortable with this Eight of Swords. It may require you to completely step out of your comfort zone or, you know, to try and do something new to be in a new energy, a new frequency. But Spirit is saying, don't allow yourself to be held back by whether this is held back from the past, held back just because of fearful or limiting beliefs. Like Spirit is saying, be, be willing and be ready to dream again and be really open 
to what can come in for you and what you feel is possible. So that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.